how to make a checkout for a canva website hey guys welcome back in this video i'll show you guys how you can build a checkout for your canva website so let's get into it now, right now you can design websites on Canva. You can design websites page by page and you can, you know, build landing pages. And it's a great way for you to build something simple that is going to look visually very appealing and that you can use to easily tell your story, your brand story, or you can build your portfolio with that as well. However, there is one limitation and that is that you're not going to be able to build your checkouts directly on Canva. So I'll show you guys a simple integration you can create to actually build your checkouts. So I have this website over here. I'm just going to be using the sample website and we are going to be using Square Up to actually create a checkout for our Canva website. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you're going to do is head on over to squareup.com. From here just click on get started over here and we're going to begin our sign up process so you're just going to enter your email address over here and then we're just going to confirm our email create a password and then we're going to agree to the terms of service and then just click on continue over here now i'm just going to log on to my account because you know i have previously created an account on square up so just by signing up over here now once you have created your account you will be led to your square up dashboard now square up allows you to create you know entire websites as well however we are looking to only just build our you know checkout or online sales channel you could say so for that you can go on ahead and you guys can see i have a simple business section over here so you can go into more from square and you guys can see the different tools that they provide so if you want to get started with online sales channels which we're going to use so you can do that you have payment methods you have subscription based methods transactions and more now what we're going to do is we're going to go into online and then click on online sales channel now, once we click on online sales channel, we're going to get started and you can actually set up your sales channels over here. However, for our business, our sales channel is not something that's really um, necessary to add on Facebook or Meta or anything because we're just going to directly integrate the link into our website. So we're going to go into items over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create an item. So um, whatever product that I'm selling, I'm just going to create that over here. Let's say it's going to be body lotion. So we can add that. We have our descriptor. So body lotion to keep your skin hydrated this winter like this and then after that we are going to upload our images so i'm just using a random reference image you're obviously going to use your actual product image this needs to be a bit smaller like this now after that we have our categorization it's not really required for us you even have variation options you can add so if you have a option such as size i'm going to create a new option and the name will be size and then the side options could be uh, let's say i have a 50 ml bottle and then maybe i have a 100 ml bottle for our lotion and now we are going to click on create two variations if you have variations i'm not going to add variations because they're not required for my particular type of product however you always have an option in square to add variations if you want to add them then below that we have our sku name that you want to set we're just going to add a sku and then we have the per item weight that you might have so let's say per item weight is 0 0.5 and then we'll set a price and then you can go on ahead and add your stock as well so how many items you have you can manage stock over here so i'm not going to add any of that you can add that as well you can also en enable tracking and you can add stock received let's say we have a thousand bottles and then we're going to click on done 
Then we have some modifiers and custom attributes we can add. And you can see in your modifiers, you can add checkout based modifiers as well. So if you want to add, you know, a recommended item, or if you want to add, you know, this goes well with this, you can add that in your checkout as well. Then you have your point of sale behavior. And once you do that, you're going to click on save. So once you have created your item on square up, we're going to take a look at its checkout link. So we're going to click on over here. And now once we have created our item, we're going to click on online site and we are going to go on ahead and go into our site setup because you do have to publish your square up site to be able to actively accept payment so we're gonna go on ahead and wait for our preview like this so this is like our current collection as it is so we're gonna go into our site setup and you can open this up and set it up now this is currently not working but we're just gonna go on ahead and go into our product and we're just going to click on sell online and then we have create a square online site or discover third party channels and you can go on ahead and add this to square online as well or you can even go on ahead and add a you know delivery or pickup section you can also sell on meta directly so if you want to do that you can also do that there are multiple different options you are going to uh, create a basic checkout and once you have created your checkout so if i set it up on meta as well if i want to set up on both meta and you know square up it's going to start selling on facebook and instagram like this and we can set up our online site like so and this is our current site we have our business my business over here so we're gonna go on ahead and preview site like this go into our site setup and then we can copy the checkout link from over here. So mybusiness.squaresite. And we are just going to set up some categories over here as well. So now I've just set up our POS, so our point of sale system, and I can download that into my phone, or you can even download that into your tablet or whatever device that you are using. Once you have completed that, you're going to head on over into your online site. So you're going to set that up and that might be a bit time consuming. So this is like our simple preview and you can just copy this link that you're going to get for your exact check out so whatever link that you get on your site setup what you're going to do is head back over to your canva website and then click on any of your shop now buttons you can add your specific product or shop a specific collection and then what you're going to do is you're going to click on the text or you can actually click on the entire button we're going to group that and once you've grouped it, you're just going to click on the button click on the top three dots and you are actually going to hyperlink this so you can do a right click and if you can't find a hyperlinking option then you have to ungroup it because certain times if you have grouped multiple items together hyperlinking might not work so you're going to do that and you can click on the shop now and then click on link and then you can just paste your checkout link over here and then it's going to automatically be underlined so you can remove that as well you can do pretty much a similar thing for the rest of your items as well so if you have any other shop now buttons you can do that as well and once you have added your link you're going to click on publish website on the top right now once you click on that you will see the free domain that canva provides you with you can use that if you want it with navigation or without navigation and then you can click on continue over here you can choose your subdomain if i want Durden over here i can do that currently this one is not available so we're gonna do that and Durden 002 we have our page url and just like that we can go on ahead and click on publish once more and now our design is being completed and once it has been published and we click on the shop now button this will lead to our square up checkout that we have created on the square up online site so if i click on view site over here if i click on shop now this opens up you know the new shop now tab that we have so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe